Hello everyone, it is Sydney or Autumn Plains, and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be decorating the upstairs of my rep's home into a cozy grandma core bedroom. I built this on Harv's Island originally on my Twitch, and now I'm rebuilding it on my actual island for this video. If you like content like this, make sure to like and subscribe, but now let's get started. So to start, I'm changing the wallpaper and flooring that I want and grabbing some items that I think fit the overall aesthetic. Since I really wanted to go for the grandma core theme, the patchwork bed was perfect and I used the wood partition as a headboard. I also kept a general color palette in mind. I found my palette by looking at a quick search of images under the term grandma core. The colors that they all had in common were browns, beiges, and sage or mossy greens. If I did add a pop of color, it was something that wasn't vibrant or heavily saturated so that nothing clashed. If you use Harvey's to practice build anything for your rep's home, remember the home on your island has varying size rooms. The rooms on Harv's island only have the same dimension as the main room in your house which would be 8x8 eight eight big tiles or 16x16 16 16 little tiles. So just make sure that you remember that and adjust as you go. You'll see me do that at some points. It was very important to me that as soon as you walk in, you saw both the bed and the hanging clothes. I haven't decorated my own home since before the 2.0 update, so using the wall partitions and pillars was really hard. I really wanted to find a way to incorporate them without making it look so intense. So I decided working on separate areas, mostly one at a time, would make it easier for me to arrange them in a visually pleasing way. I've started to arrange spots for the bed, grandma's writing desk, and her wardrobe to get an idea of the room layout. I'm adding details like the lacy rug and wall items to put the theme together. I tried to imagine my rep actually using the items I placed, but of course it doesn't always have to make sense or be accessible if it looks cute. I often forget that you can hang the KK Slider albums, but when I do remember, it can really add to the details of a room and really tell a story. Like maybe grandma likes country or westerns. I personally don't, but the albums fit the decor and look cute. The next area I wanted to focus on was her writing desk slash craft desk. I personally felt like using the customized cork board really fit in with the arts and crafts area that we've got going on here. In previous Animal Crossing titles, I never decorated with the gyroids when given the option to. I always thought they were cool, but I just couldn't make them work with the interiors that I was making back then. So I really thought adding a gyroid would bring us back into the world of Animal Crossing. And I think the one that I picked really suited the feel of the room. Thank you. 
Alright, I have to admit it took an embarrassingly long time to figure out why I couldn't place the rug. That is what I meant by keeping the room dimensions in mind. The lace rug was too close, so I had to move the art, craft, scrapbook area over a few tiles since I had my heart set on having a rug underneath. The next space I focused my attention on is the wardrobe clothing display. I tried to choose a whole outfit that went with the colors of the room, but still stood out from the wall. If you look at my social media, you definitely recognize the setup that I'm using for the clothes. I did recently learn that you can hang socks on the wall as decor, so I will be utilizing that. Normally, I put the shoes on the pile of Zen cushions, but with the new handheld bags, I figured an accessory is the best way to complete an outfit, and I felt it looked better on the cushions. I like to keep my mirrors nearby my wardrobe so that when I want to change my character's appearance, it's all in one area. I added the milk glass lamp and clothing pile as details and final touches. The last area I'm working on is Grandma's little reading nook. This is a more closed-in space where I can picture her reading a fantasy novel that takes her on amazing adventures. The bookshelves fill in the walls and floor pretty well, so I don't need to worry about adding too many things here. I wanted this corner specifically to be full of nature, so I used the hanging vines and the chair. Lastly, I added some wall greenery to tie everything together. And here we are enjoying the sounds of the music box in the finished room. I had a lot of fun building this room and I think it came out looking very cozy. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and that you have a great rest of your day. Bye.